John, uh, given what's happening in the market and the shift that Netflix is taking toward advertising, how much certainty is there about how that's actually going to play out? Uh, yeah, I, John, um, thanks for having me on. I, I think it'll be good. I mean, we, we highlighted two key monetization levers uh, for the company next year. One is the ad tier. It rolled out in November. Uh, we think it'll drive accelerating uh, member net ads in 2023. We now forecast 8 million uh, ad tier members ending 23, rising to 43 million by 28. And we view Netflix as the best re recession play uh, in our internet coverage universe. Uh, just given if macro conditions worse, worsen, you have this ad tier available uh, for value um, conscious consumer. And the other, the other area uh, is the paid sharing solution um, that they're going to roll out in 23. We think that'll boost revenue per member, um, just depending on how, how many they convert of the 100 million uh, global uh, paid sharers. Per our recent survey data, uh, we, we, ha we had the paid sharing solution uh, driving potentially 5% upside to UCAN revenue. Um, so they have multiple uh, potential uh, revenue uh, drivers uh, uh, next year. But how long does Netflix continue to get to operate by a different set of rules from other media companies? Uh, it, does it still get to be its own category of kind of tech company where, you know, Disney has to worry about profitability in streaming? Netflix can, can more do its thing and, and uh, kind of ride on the promise of the new ad revenue? Its, it's valuation is going to get hit? Yeah, I mean, and John, there. Uh, we the other positive thing for Netflix is we have free cash flow uh, ramping to almost three billion dollars uh, next year, uh, up almost 60 percent as profits rise and um, their cash content spend will be flattish. So, you know, Netflix is the global uh, uh, leader in streaming, uh, and uh, and so this new ad tier is going to be helpful, and the paid paid sharing is as I said, is going to be helpful to drive to drive top line and also and also margins as we get into uh, into next year. John, good morning. How many subscriptions do you think that consumers are really going to be willing to pay for? What does that mean for a consolidation and content spend in the year ahead? Yeah, I mean, I, it, you know, you if you're Netflix, um, it, it's it, it you know, it's 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 good to be Netflix just because of their their depth of their, their depth of content and also um, they, they led in, in minutes uh, viewed by a wide margin versus Disney Plus and Prime Video uh, in the U.S. in this in this last TV season. So they're definitely there. And then you probably have um, Prime Video and Disney Plus. Uh, and, and for Netflix, rolling out this new ad tier at six ninety nine, uh, it's uh, it's well timed, I think, as we as we head into next year with a potential uh, t uh, tougher macro uh, situation for the consumer.